So you're probably wondering, why is he writing this note again? Note again, 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 again. Yo, yo, yo. So I just pulled up with the supercharger with Dolores, and guess what? She made two friends, a Model X and a Model S. So that's pretty cool that she's getting along with other cars and able to blend in, given her a troubled past and everything. But anyways, I plugged her in the supercharge for the second time ever, and guess what? She supercharges. Why wouldn't she, you ask? Well, remember, I built Dolores, and uh, Tesla normally disables supercharging on their rebuilt cars. Um, so I had an episode a few weeks ago where I supercharged her for the first time, and it worked. But since then, that episode somehow gained 100,000 views, and I figure if Tesla caught wind of it and saw it, they would shut supercharging off. But they didn't, and she lives to supercharge another day. Wait, I thought, I thought you had a 90D, not a P100D. No, this is a fake bad. This is why I have trust issues, all right? So we're hanging out, talking about life and what cars he wants to put fake badges on next. We end up chatting for a bit, but all of a sudden they're like, hey, we gotta go, man. And I'm like, but why? We're having so much fun. And he's like, we're gonna get charged supercharger idling fees, dude. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, man, if your car's still plugged in after it's done charging, you get charged 40 cents this minute, man. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, we're going to summon our cars and get out of here, man. Driving's for squares. Bye. I'm like, okay, wow, is that true? I thought supercharging was supposed to be for free. So I end up looking it up, and they're right. They did this to apparently prevent people from clogging up the supercharger stations and keep the flow moving. Because people would otherwise just stay there all day with the car plugged in, which I totally get. So, okay, I guess I should unplug mine now then. But first, let me just daydream. Oh, dear Lord, please send me the most beautiful car in the world. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. She's so beautiful. Look at those curves. Look at that stance. Look at all this, and she's all mine. Mm-hmm. Let's be real for a second here. You're the best-looking Tesla in this parking lot. Mm-hmm. Girl, yes, you is. See, when I'm, when I'm driving you, I get this feeling of uh, superiority and... While I'm driving it, women just, they just flock to you. Oh, hey. What's up, baby? Yeah, it's Car Guru. What's up, girl? How you doing? You all right? Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lost track of time there. All right. The car's been charged for a while now. Right now, I should have some supercharger idling fees. However, Tesla has no way to charge me. This car is off the grid. I need the Tesla app to see when I'm getting those charges. And I'll have to give them a credit card uh, so they can associate it with the account. I just want to make things right. All right, I got to go ahead and I got to come clean. And I got to go to Tesla and I got to pay up. One does not simply take money from Tesla. Are you insane? Elon Musk is petty just like me. <laughs> I was... I was reading a story on this dude that went on that went to the uh, Model X reveal, uh, and he paid a five thousand dollar deposit for the SUV and was mad. And he said this event it was kind of lame, you know. The slideshow was amateur at best. Uh, the event was late, and the the guy kept complaining. So your boy Elon Muscle was like, "Hey, um, can you show me the system that I could use to cancel this man's order, please?" <laughs> and he canceled the dude's SUV order. He just canceled his order. Just like that. And then, right, get this. He tweeted out, what? What, y'all mad? Huh? Must be a slow news day if denying a super rude customer gets this much attention. <laughs> it's Betty. He's just like me. Listen, I don't want any trouble, all right? I'm not going to play with Elon Musk's money because imagine what he would do to me, all right? I'm like, I'm like dim sum, like a snack to him, a morsel, all right? I'm like a single pierogi. All right, this dude will hire two goons. Again, bebop and rock steady. Head to my house, throw me in a white van. I'll never be seen again, okay? I want to make this right. I got to call Tesla. A um, couple things. When talking on the phone, uh, there's a couple things you have to do. One, you have to let them know who you are and how important you are. Tesla service, how may I help you? Hi, this is uh, Car Guru from YouTube. I have a pretty sizable following. You ever heard of me? See any of my videos? I uh, can't say that I have. What can I help you with? <laughs> uh, I have a uh, I have a used Tesla, and uh, I never got the Tesla app. Uh, can we do something about that and get the app on my phone? Sure, 
Sure, um, no problem. You just need your registration. All right. Let me look you up. What's your VIN? All right, it's five uh, Y J S A one. In our system, as a prior salvage vehicle, so we can't offer any support on it. Oh, uh, it's just the app that I need, though. I, I just need the app for the Sorry, phone. Sorry, it's our it's our policy. Uh, okay. So can I get send you guys a check for uh, supercharge overage fees and? If I stay too long on a supercharger, do I send the money to you guys directly? Oh, sorry. We really can't offer you further support on this car. All right. Uh, the second rule is flirting when you don't get what you want. You have a nice voice, by the way. Did I tell you that? Uh, is there anything else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> no. Th the third rule is promoting your YouTube channel. Thanks. Uh, check out my YouTube channel. You have a great day, sir. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye. All right. Bye. Can I ever get Tesla this money?